Okay, so we're back with a level three zealot or zealot. You bastards to get on me about pronunciation. <coughs> okay, so as you might remember, Jimmy the Plague Bearer is here with us. Let's see some emotes. Oh, uh, that's pretty much the same emote that the um, Magus gets. So that's kind of neat. Only this time, I'm not floating on while floating on a disc. One thing I've noticed about um, the Chaos Realm is that none of them seem to speak. Maybe their voices aren't put in yet, but um, they don't make noise when they do their emotes for most of the time. <coughs> so, there's a couple emotes. I have a quest to go kill some Empire Spearmen, and it seems to be near a dungeon, so I figured that'd be a good chance for us to go check out a dungeon. Let's see if we can find this dungeon, and there it is on our map. Oh, that's the Ancestral Chronicle. Well, we'll go do that one. So while we're running there, a um <coughs> couple of different abilities. First ability is a 36 health heal. The second ability is called Scourge. It's a power lashes out and inflicts 53 corporeal damage. After that comes the instant cast 85 corporeal damage over 15 seconds. And then after that is a instant cast heals 260 over 15 seconds. So it's a hot and a dot. Those are the ones I got for level 2 and level 3. This is an easy quest. I'm just going to pick up the Ancestor Chronicle. Ta-da! And that's it for this video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me go find something to kill. Oh, you know what? While we're over here, we'll fire a Doom Cannon. That's kind of impressive to see. Now these ones are unlike the other siege equipment that I've shown you. They're just sort of um, used, and then when you use them, they fire. So there's a uh, sort of Empire Stronghold over there, and this is a Doom Cannon. We'll just do a little walk around here. Ooh, it's filled with Doom. And then you go ahead and use it, and when you use it... Fires crazy explosions. And this uh, Magus here is killing some pretty ugly looking pig creatures. Get right on close on those guys so you can see all of the crazy tusks. Awesome. So I'm going to jump down here. There is falling damage in this game. This will give me a chance to test out my heal spell that I just got. You can see my health coming back up there, little by little. And let's go for a swim. The uh, water is actually pretty good in this game. Um, depending on where you are, you can see through it, just like real water. And there's also times when it's extremely... Um, reflective of the sun and everything like that. Ooh, let's kill this thing. It's a rotting swine. So here's the first spell. It's like your pull spell. I really hope this guy runs over here because from what it looks like, he's pretty gross. So that second spell made him all crazy technicolor. And he's dead. And I gotta flee from him. So we're looking for some Empire Spearmen. But I don't think there are any of them. Here's one. Excellent passing. He's running to the other side of the world. 
really effective battle strategy. Run as far away as you can, and then turn around and run back. That'll win you lots of battles. So that's my first spell. There's my second spell. And, you know, in a pinch, this class is capable of attacking with a weapon. Um, I haven't gotten any weapon styles yet, but <coughs> I can just kind of poke people with my dagger. Like that. Um, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but, you know, hey, if I was out of power and unable to cast anything, that would be what saves my butt. So, here's kind of a different angle on the fight. I've achieved 25 critical hits at level 3. Pretty good, huh? This is the last spearman I need for this quest. All right. So that's about it for the zealot level three. I'm going to go turn this quest in, and then I'm going to do something different. So. Tune in next time.